Release the Kraken! And welcome back Star Trek fans. Tonight we're going to take a look at the event store. What should you spend your slush funds on? What shouldn't you spend your slush funds on? There are a number of really great deals in the store. There are also some really bad deals in the store, and I'm going to point you, in my opinion, as the best possible way to possibly spend your slush fund. Uh, this does come down to personal preference or what you need based on what you've got available to you. Um, we're going to take a look at that. First thing we're going to look at real quick is currently Scopely Do has a Google special going on. Uh, they have three packs. There's a $100 pack, a $20 pack, and a $5 pack. Uh, like I said, I don't normally encourage spending money, but a couple of these are really good. One of them I think is really bad. Let's take a peek at them real quick. First pack we got is the Google Exclusive Discovery Special. It comes with 30k lat, officer shards, uncommons, rares, badges, officer EXP. I don't like this pack. 30k latinum isn't that bad. The officer shards at this point, we should have these officer shards or at least the ability to buy them with our slush funds um, the uncommons there's there's not that many in here the rares there's even less the command badges they've given us so many ways to get badges uh, it's it's not funny four million officer exp is tempting but you know you can always wait and grind that <coughs> there is the also the twenty dollar pack the commander special it comes with culver and arium shards uh, i don't this is a, a kind of a wishy-washy pack. It's 1,700 Latinum, the Officer Shards, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But it does have a nice chunk of speed-ups. It comes with some 4-hour shields, some 8-hour shields, some 1-day shields, and 2-day relo two relocation tokens. I do like this pack. If I was going to blow $20 on it, I would definitely get this pack. The third pack is the Commander Hugh Special. It comes with 10 Culver Shards. That's an Officer Unlock. A dash of latinum, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Comes with the same amount of speed ups though as the other pack. Um, and a little bit less as far as the shields go. And it also does come with a relocation token. But it's a five dollar pack. It's a nice little, you know, a little piggy bank offering. Not bad, not bad at all. Now let's get to the meat of the matter. We're gonna go into our events, we're going to look at our event store. Now, if we have been doing our dailies every day, doing our events, accruing Terran credits, Terran Imperial credits for our slush fund, we should have a goodly amount at this point, unless we've already spent them. Uh, and we're just going to go through this bit by bit. You get your jellyfish blueprints. I do like this. Um, if it's coming back every time, awesome. Uh, I never picked up the jellyfish when I was a low level on this account. Uh, so the opportunity to actually get jellyfish blueprints and actually finish that and actually have the jellyfish for my OCD collection is great. You've got Franklin blueprints. You can only buy 45, so that gets you half of Franklin. Um, and if you bought Franklin blueprints during the last event, then congratulations, you have a full Franklin. Or the next time it comes around the store, instead of spending $40 on a ship, you can just throw $20 at it. It's not a bad deal. There, these blueprints are fairly cheap. Frequency mods, I don't recommend spending your credits on this at all. You can grind these. It's relatively slow. You need tons of them. Millions of them. Um, I don't really recommend spending your Imperial credits on this. Botany Bay. If you've got a Botany Bay already, or if you don't have a Botany Bay rare already, or maybe you want more Botany Bays, uh, you can get basically an entire botany bay for 62,000 credits. Um, botany bay is not a bad ship, especially if you're doing slow mining in territories or anything like that. You've also got the common, uncommon, and rare plutonium. Um, if you've already got your botany bay, you have the ability to mine data, and you can get these basically for free doing data hand-ins every day in the augment store. I recommend avoiding this. Discovery blueprints, if you're coming into this game late, um, and you missed the first discovery arc and did not get a chance to get that free discovery. Uh, this is definitely a chance for you to get that discovery. And it's kind of pricey. Uh, 10 packs. Excuse me, 38k for 10 blueprints. You're going to need 100 blueprints. 
So that's 10 pulls, that's 380,000 of these. Very, very pricey as far as your Imperial slush funds go. Here's something I really like about this. You've got the cultivated mycelium, 80K, 30K. You've also got the elite cultivated mycelium pack, 480K for 150K. This is not a bad purchase at all. If you're really hedging on what to buy, and maybe you're just running low on cultivated mycelium, uh, this is definitely a good purchase. This is a good purchase because no matter what level you are, it's the same. If you're level 25, it's the same. If you're level 38, it's the same. And there's a reason I bring that up. Spore drive components. If all else spells, sure, buy these. These are kind of hard to get. Um, might be worthwhile to you. Devore blueprints. You can get half a Devore. 300, 60, that's not that bad. 18,000 uh, for half a Devore. Devore parts. I don't know if I'd really recommend spending my, my Terran credits on these. Um, but, you know, that's personal. If you really, really want to get those Devore parts, go ahead. If you don't have your Vidar yet, here's a new chance to get it. 76,000 Imperial credits gets you a Vidar. Bazinga. Charge Nano Probes. Do not buy these packs. Here's why. My Vidar is Tier 8. This is the Charge Nano Probes to Tier 9, basically. I can buy 220,000 Charge Nano Probes for 150k credits. Seems like a screaming good deal, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? No. And here's why it's not. Here's the screen from my other account. Same pack, Charge Nano Probes. To get to Tier 6, open it up. 71.5k for 151 credits. But wait, but wait. 220.9k for 150,000 credits? Come on now. What kind of games are we playing here? No. Don't spend your Terran credits on these. It's 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 not fair. It's rigged. It's based off ship tier. Next up, we've got Stella Blueprints. Uh, if you weren't around for this arc, don't have a Stella, haven't bought a Stella, you can get a Stella. Uh, and there's no limit on these Blueprints. Five Blueprints for 3,800. Uh... You can do the math on that yourself. I hate math. I don't know if anybody's watching these videos, but I don't know if you've noticed, I'm bad at math. Uh, your faction miners. Uh, these can be a decent purchase, 2,600 credits for a blueprint. If you're really close, ready to put your ship in the oven, um, and you're maybe, I don't know, 10 blueprints away, go ahead and buy them and get that puppy cooking. And mind you, the ships that are available in the store are based on your level and your reputation tier. So, for example, I have the B-Rel, the Gladius, the Intrepid, the Augur, the D4, the Enterprise, based on my faction locks and my level. Um, I kind of feel the same way about these ships as I do about the faction miners. If you're close to cooking one of these bad boys, go ahead and grab the last few blueprints you're missing. But to just flat out, I mean, you can only buy 20 of these. You can buy up to 50 of these. 20 isn't even half. For example, the auger. 21.2K for 20 blueprints. Math, I believe that's 400, 440, 450,000 credits. I would, I would blow my, my entire slush fund on 20 blueprints. I... I mm, I'm very wishy-washy when it comes to the ship blueprints. But if you were to buy ship blueprints, I would definitely, if you're close, ready to put that bad boy in the oven, go ahead and spend your credits. The part where I feel you should probably spend the majority of your Terran Slosh Fund credits, the officer shards. Ships are great, stuff is great, resources are great, but if you've got a really big ship and your officers are bad, you just have a really big stick. Um, some of these officers are great. Um, you know, the common, the original officers that they came out with, Lieutenant Stamets and everything, Lieutenant Saru Shards, I, I don't really recommend buying those. But Aram, for example, she gets up to a 100% chance, chance to inflict burning when defending on a node. 
tear her up. Get her teared up. Q shards. Q is going to actually save you on that mycelium that I recommended buying. Uh, I forget what he actually gets up to when you tear him up as far as uh, efficiency reduction for jumps. But if you're jumping around a lot, every little bit counts. Um, the Burnham shards that came out. Uh, I don't know about that. Tilly shards. Tilly's not bad. Uh, Ash shards. Ash is a fantastic officer. Fantastic officer. I'll cover him in another video as to why I think he's so great. But you definitely want to bring him up a tier or two if you have the Terran credits available to go that far. Uh, Paul Stamet shards. Paul, I think he has the ability to be a fantastic officer, especially on the uh, coffin, for example. The coffin being a battleship. What does a battleship rely on? Armor. Minus 80% to the opponent's armor piercing when defending from a player. I think he's going to be a really good officer. I haven't a chance to play with the coffin yet. Don't have one. Saru. Scopoli. You broke my heart. Saru was a fantastic go-to PvP officer. And as you can tell, I went out of my way to max him out as fast as possible. But they fixed him recently. Minus 70% to opponent's weapon damage. Uh, this used to be... Mechanic-wise, it was minus 70% to the opponent's damage. Now it has been changed to function correctly to work off the base damage of the ship. So he went from being a phenomenal officer to an okay officer. And if I can get my Imperial credits back, that would be fantastic. I doubt it, though. Burnham Shards, um, pretty close to getting her up to Tier 2. Uh, I will probably end up... Uh, tearing her out the rest of the way, um, waiting till the event is officially over. And then, of course, you've got Felipe Giorgio. If you don't have her, get her. She's fantastic. She's great. She makes burning great again. Uh, and, you know, there's all sorts of neat tricks you can do with Giorgio. Uh, but as far as the, the burning, um, she's basically Scopoli's answer to fix burning uh, the next things that we have for sale, you've got your uncommons. I don't really recommend going nuts here, but if you want to, go for it. Um, I mean, if you've already spent your ponies here and you get to this point, um, the rares, I mean, it's, it's super expensive for this stuff. And this stuff eventually comes to you slowly but surely, it does come to you. And you've got to do your dilithium, your partial, your titanium. Um, once you basically made the majority of your, your purchases and you're getting down to that point where you're, you know, it's your last few thousand credits, um, and there's nothing else you can afford, go through, I mean, par steel, for example, uh, one chest, 1600 credits, 15 million par steel. I'm not sure if this is level based. I'd have to double check. Actually, let's double check that right now. Da, 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 da. Par steel. That is level based. 1300 for 5 versus 1600 for 15. Um, but yeah, once I get through buying all my shards and I start running low on my Imperial credits, I will probably come here and probably spend the last little bit on Trite, Parsteel, so on and so forth. Another offering in the store is the independent credits. I like it and I don't. I'm not going to spend my, my Terran credits here, but here's why I like it. 18.8k for 500 independent credits. If you haven't started the slow-mo grind of accumulating these independent credits for your independent officers, you won't understand why this is so alluring. But you can buy a total of 10, and that's 5,000 credits. Uh, you can get those very slowly through other means. Uh, Discovery Recruit Tokens. I don't feel too hot about the Discovery Recruit Tokens or the Ultra Recruit Tokens. The minor commendations, um, we keep getting these events that allows us to get a lot of these. And so far I haven't used any of them. Uh, the discovery missions. Uh, if you miss these missions, it might be worth it to you to purchase them, to replay them. I, I'm i not going to. The mirror mirror missions. Um, we got to play the mirror mirror stuff before. Uh, if you want to do it again, great. Congratulations. Uh, you can get Kirk Shards following the Mirror Mission chain. Uh, the business as usual, I don't remember how this chain ended. 
And I do remember reading something Scopely saying that they were going to give us some sort of package bundle that would actually give us these missions. Um, don't quote me on that. I, I'm very forgetful. Ship parts. These can always be gotten when you're upgrading your ships by spending latinum. Uh, five three star for thirty four hundred. Just just farm it. Just just go farm it. Uh, the ship exp. I'm not I'm not excited about this, but ship exp is one of the rare resources in the game to accumulate. And then of course you get down here to your avatars. I really don't recommend spending your stuff on these avatars, but for example the lower decks frame. If you really like this frame, and you really, 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 really feel strongly about getting it, go for it. I mean, it's your game. Play your way. Um, but I wouldn't spend my Terran Slush funds on those. Um, and as you can tell, I've already spent some of my, my currency. If you look at my other account, big difference here. And I play basically the same on both accounts. So I've obviously spent quite a bit. Uh, and that's that. We are getting towards the end of the arc. And if you notice in the event store, 12 days left. January 4th is when this store closes. And then the arc in and of itself is going to end in... How many days? Five days, nine hours. So we've got another five days worth of events in order to accumulate more slush funds. And that's that, folks. Uh, that's, like I said... My recommendation on how you should approach spending your slush funds, um, what to avoid, nanoprobes, nanoprobe pack, bad. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If it was informative and helpful in any way and you'd like to see more, subscribe. Uh, until next time, folks, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you again.